What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to match a particular color of paint. Now as you can tell here, we've got a wall that's got a little patch area right there that I'm working on. I need to paint this wall, so I need to match the color. One of the days where you have to put a whole bunch of samples up on the wall to figure out which color it is that you need. Now you can take a little sample of the work that you're working on, take that down to your local hardware store or your paint store and they can match it up using a computer-based software. So what you need to do is take your actual sample. What I like to do is take it from an area that's inconspicuous, somewhere that's not gonna be very visible. So somewhere along the bottom of the baseboards here or anywhere along the shadow lines so that we're gonna be able to conceal our patchwork as much as possible. Um, Generally, I can take a little section straight out of the wall. Now, when you take that out of the wall, you don't want to remove a whole bunch of the plasterboard. Um, you only want to take out the paper. So you can see there, just the face of it, that's the actual white in, inner part of the plasterboard. You don't want to remove as much of that as possible. Um, that means less patching, nice and easy, just a little flat piece of paper with the color of the paint on there. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly how to remove your little sample piece from a piece of drywall. So what we're going to do, take our utility knife, we just want to score a little square out there. You don't want to go too deep. We just want enough to be able to remove that out of paper. Make sure you've cut it all the way through. Remembering we're going to be patching this section here later on. Now what I like to do is take the blade, work that from one edge. So just push that in, pop that little corner, go back down to the bottom. Pop the little corner, stab it down the bottom again, pop that little corner piece, work it all the way around until it just simply pops off. So we've got one more little section up here holding on. Once that's done, that becomes my new sample piece to take into the local hardware store or paint supplier. Now I'm going to show you guys a quick little trick that I use um, so that I don't have to cut into the wall or anywhere visible anyway. Um, so whenever you're working in a room, it's always a good idea to have a quick look around, look in the cupboards, look anywhere that you can actually take a piece um, for a sample that won't um, be very visible. So behind door stops is a very common place. So if you have a look behind your door stop, you might be able to remove the door stop, take your sample and reinstall your door stop and that way you won't have to um, patch that area. But in this case here, what we've got is a whole bunch of power outlets. So in this case here, right there, we've got our antenna point. So what I'm gonna do is take a screwdriver, take off the cover, and now I need to get my Phillips head screwdriver, or better yet, a drill, and we're just gonna remove our screws from here. Now what you'll find is if we have a look on the back here, what you can do is draw a pencil mark. So if you put that back into position, draw a little pencil mark all the way around um, the antenna point here, then we'll know exactly how much we've got. And this is where I've actually removed my piece from. So if we have a look here, I'll turn this one here over to the side for you guys. If we have a look down the bottom, that is exactly where I've taken my piece. So when I put that back on, you won't be able to tell that that was actually removed from there. No patching whatsoever. I know there's a little patch here, but that's because there was a dent there. Um, so that's the best areas. If you want to find little sections that are inconspicuous, is a good idea. However, if you can find somewhere that you don't have to patch whatsoever, it's an even better idea. That way, we're going to be 100% certain of the color that we're going to get. It's going to be 100% or as close to 100% as possible. And I'll show you guys what it ends up looking like. So now that I've got the paint all sorted, what I'm going to show you guys is just how well this one here blends. If you wanted to do this by eye, you wouldn't be able to blend it this well. So if I just take a brush, take a little bit of the paint here from the top of the tin, just to show you guys. We'll take this one here over to the wall and we're just going to paint any section. So right here up on top looks good. Feather that out nicely. Now you can see there's a little bit of a difference there. What tends to happen is as I dry this, it'll actually dry up darker. So I'll show you guys now. I'm going to speed it up using a heat gun. So now I've got my heat gun ready. We're just going to watch this little area here and slowly watch it as it fades away. Let the heat gun heat up a bit. Ha <laughs> ha! 
And once that's done, guys, you can barely see, if any, if at all, where this little section was that we just matched up the paint. So that's now a nice, perfect finish. And that's the reason why I like to take an actual sample from the wall, um, opposed to putting up a whole bunch of samples and trying to eyeball it out. So guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. That is how you match the paint 100% perfect every single time. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's Out 2.